Um, we actually started uh, our first web collecting in 1999 when there was an election in New Zealand and that was the first time we actually um, dipped our toe in the water. Um, it wasn't until quite a lot later that we uh, were able to set up a formal program and we currently have two approaches um, to this. Uh, a selective web archiving um, activity whereby we have a team of three people whose job it is to say this will be an important website, this will be an important website. And so they, they um, uh, uh, harvest that object and go through all the various um, cataloging and appraisal um, activities and that around those. Um, we also do whole of domain harvesting, so .nz um, and also .com, .net, .org material that we can um, uh, ascertain come from New Zealanders or it's about New Zealand and stuff like that. <coughs> um, we've done two whole of domain harvests and uh, one of about six terabytes, one of four terabytes, so it's a much small, quite a small domain being uh, New Zealand. And there's some really interesting issues attached with that, this, uh, all the social, legal stuff around what do you do with hate material, what do you do with porn, um, what's the liability of the library if we make this stuff available, um, some of those things that we're trying to work um, through before we make it publicly accessible. And then even there, the public accessibility of it is an issue of itself because what are the mechanics of providing access to a t uh, six terabyte data set? Um, how do we do that? How do you index it? How do you understand the um, the data that's actually in the data set uh, in order to make it accessible.